As you can see, I ended up getting a second ski. It is the 2018 Sudo Spark Trix. It's the orange one because the 17 was teal. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing I did to this one, except this one has the electronic VTS system in it right there. It also has uh, the IBR, which I've been wanting to try out for a while. Here's the system. I'm actually in the sound today, so it should be a lot more fun and a lot more crazy with the waves and whatnot. Uh, unfortunately, I did not bring my GoPro, so I won't be, or, or my helmet cam, so I won't be testing or showing these off. But uh, this is what's to come. Going to see what this does. Should be a lot of fun. This thing looks sharp. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I did the front box already by myself. It's kind of weird, sketchy, drilling into the hole. But this thing looks sharp. I, I like the green, black more, but the uh, orange, black, red does look pretty good too. But yeah, I'll put up a video soon. I'm going to do the Solus prop right away. I haven't even brought this thing out. Uh, it's brand new. I'm going to do the Solus prop. I'm going to do the uh, probably the wearing and whatnot. You can see the hour gauge. That's nice to see. Zero hours, zero minutes. That's going to be a fun one. Can't wait to bring this out. Going to try it out with its stock. I'm going to do a side by side comparison with the Green Spark. This one has been tuned to about 112 or 8500 RPMs. It also has been. It has a uh, Solus 1215 custom pitch prop for speed and acceleration, along with uh, a couple small upgrades like the grips and whatever else. Uh, this is by far, I, I tried another ski that was a, uh, a, a 110 upgrade and it had nothing on this one. And it had a, it had a uh, the other brand prop that everybody else uses. I can't think of it off the top of my head. It was a scat track, that's it. And uh, I, I was gonna buy it and then I had a deal to get this brand new at zero hours with uh, $1,000 off MSRP from a dealer who was liquidating them for the 2018 year. So I couldn't say no with 1.9% financing. So I'm going to take it off to the sound on the big waves and have some fun with it. Anyways, I'm going to show some videos with this eventually. And uh, we'll, we'll go over what positive and negatives I see with the stock one. Uh, what positives I see with the VTS. And I'm going to test them top speed side by side and see which one wins. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Alright everybody, well, this thing's been pretty uh, It definitely has its uses with VPS, however, uh, or VTS. However, it's uh, it's hard to get used to. I thought it was going to be easy to get up on the tricks and uh, stand back and just do a wheelie, but it was a lot harder than I thought it was. Uh, <laughs> I'm here out on Long Island Sound and uh, it, uh, it's, it's a little choppy out there, but we're by the beach, and uh, you'll see me as I swing by there uh, what, what it looks like. So let's get this started. I'll show you what it's about. Not as fast as that ski by a long shot, though. It starts in neutral, which is pretty awesome. You have, uh, you have uh, the IBR system, which automatically starts you in neutral. It's weird because if you're at... If you're inshore, it's going to kick up rocks, so stay away from it, about a two, one or two feet deep. Reverse, pull back on the lever, and pull back, and we're in reverse. So like get it out of reverse, you just click forward like that, and you're in front. Back in neutral, click this, we're in neutral. Now we're forward, and uh, I'm going to show you some tricks. Turn the BTS all the way up, and uh, here you go. I might fall if you guys find out.
getting used to that a little bit. But it's a lot of fun. Back into neutral, and then in reverse, and then back into neutral. The Trix is a fun ski, no doubt. It does need that Solus prop, and it does need the, uh, I don't know about the wear ring, but it does need the tune. It's a little weak with the tune. That thing's gonna fire right out of the water. The green ski is just ridiculous with the acceleration, but this definitely need um, uh, some some more power with the prop. Uh, I would say I would say it's gonna go probably an extra two or three miles an hour faster with the prop with the tune. Another two or three miles an hour, you hit about 56. This hits about 50. Uh, but anyways, it's a lot of fun regardless, and. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video.